Well, Lewis, there have been a few of these fixtures over the years, I'm sure you think should have been Brighton wins rather than draws. This was emphatic. Yeah, um, great reaction after Tuesday night. Um, we knew we had to start well and yeah, luckily we got a go early on and, and put the pressure on them and um, obviously the first half I think we killed the game off, second half got a bit complacent, they got one back and we showed a great reaction again after that to, to go score another one, so yeah, it was a top performance throughout. One of the most simple headers you're going to score really, isn't it? Yeah, um, obviously we did them yesterday in training and I got nowhere near them, so <laughs> it was nice to get one, it's always nice to score a goal, um, yeah, I back myself when I got there that I can chip in with some goals and Maybe I've not done it as much lately as I should have. And, yeah, it's nice to put one in the back of the net. I mean, you seem to really enjoy it. Does it mean more when it's against Palace? Of course it does. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> well, there's no shame in saying it, is it? Because it is a big rivalry. Course, yeah. They give me stick and I, thankfully, I got one against them today and we got a win. So, yeah, it's always nice to beat them. Um, you mentioned the bit of complacency. Actually, the, the best goal was probably the fourth one, wasn't it? We mm. saw some breathtaking skill there between those two front players. Yeah, yeah, it was outstanding. And we know we got that quality. Like, well, just come off, off the bench and many more players come off the bench. And we know we've got quality in depth now and we're getting boys back from injury and we're going to be even stronger. So, yeah, we've got a big end to the year to come. How important has Joao Pedro been? I know he's, a lot of his goals have been from the penalty mm. spot, but the, the position he took up today, Palace just couldn't pick him up, could they? No, and yeah... Um, in our style of football, that's what that's what we need players like that, and that's when we we keep the ball and we get the ball to them, and they they do their stuff. So yeah, he's an outstanding footballer. And he's got plenty more to improve. Um, he's improved so much under this manager already, and he's got so much more. So hopefully, he keeps improving for us and keeps banging in the goals. And I've talked about your heading ability, but I've got to ask you about um, Jack Hinshelwood's <laughs> heading ability for a young man. I mean, um, he's made those far post headers his own, hasn't he? Yeah, a little salmon at the back post, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. um, no, he's been outstanding. Um, the kid's, the kid's an incredible kid. Since he's stepped foot into the first team, he's been outstanding. So, yeah, I couldn't be more happy in him for him than me. So, yeah, it's nice to get another local boy chipping in and... And he's got a big, bright future ahead of me. And yeah, hopefully he can do what I've done to stay at the club for a long time. And just finally, you mentioned the performance on Tuesday. What's the message to the fans after the response you've given today? That's more like us. Um, Tuesday night was not us. And uh, we said when we were coming out the change room before the game, we owe, owe the fans um, after Tuesday night. And we, and we, we hopefully repaid them tonight that, with the win against them.